Hello everyone, welcome back. In this section, we will see how we can generate distractors that is wrong answer choices for multiple choice questions using word vector algorithms and sentence transformer embeddings. Awesome. So if you have a question like who is the 44th president of the United States and you know that the correct answer is Barack Obama. How do you go ahead and get efficient distractors? That is the wrong answer choices. Um, that's what we are dealing here. For example, if you have Barack Obama, one way is, is to query with that word onto word vector algorithms like word to vec, sense to vec, or any search word vector algorithms. And when you search these word vector algorithms with a given keyword you get back similar words to it for example here you have barack obama uh, with a double r and president obama obama george bush george w bush bill clinton john mccain etc so the problem is that when you query the word vector algorithms with a given word you get back some relevant keywords that could be potential distractors that is the wrong answer choices but the problem is that there are several issues as you can see one is there could be spelling mistakes barack with a double r here and the other thing is not spelling mistakes but they refer to the same object for example president obama refers to barack obama itself and obama refers to barack obama and you might have other distractors also which have the same problem which is George Bush, George W. Bush or you might have George W. Dot Bush etc. How do you efficiently filter these things so that you only keep the unique items and uh, get our distractors that are filtered from this list. So if you directly try to use word vector algorithms what happens is that a lot of distractors are repetitive or kind of semantically the same whereas you want to have as much diversity as possible here and one way to achieve that is through sentence transformers and maximum marginal relevance MMR what happens is that we convert all the distractors into a into an embedding space using sentence transformers since sentence transformers are trained on quite a lot of data they put barack obama president obama obama all these in closer vector space and similarly the other now once you are in the vector space what you can do is use an algorithm called as maximum marginal relevance in short what happens is that it using it you can increase your diversity in the output so if barack obama is already there then the next word that you pick would be the most diverse one to what's already existing and then you place let's say george bush then again you look for words that are most diverse than here so if you took take uh, president obama etc that would already be coinciding closely with what we already have similarly george w bush will, will coincide with what we already have so it will pick bill clinton and then john mccain etc so using word vector algorithms then using sentence transformers to connect uh, to convert each of this word into a vector space although we are using the word sentence transformers it could be used for single words or you know multi keywords like barack obama even for any such phrases and once we have the vector embeddings using sentence transformers we use maximum marginal relevance to be able to filter the most diverse ones and get our distractors we will see that in code uh, just in a moment let's see the same thing in code where we'll be generating distractors using word vector algorithms and filtering them using sentence transformers and maximum marginal relevance 
So the collab notebook is this, generate distractors for MCQs with sentence transformers. And as I mentioned, we are going to use word vectors or similar algorithms like word vectors. Here especially we are using sense2vec, it's another word vector algorithm that is similar to word2vec. So for example, if you search with uh, Barack Obama, you can go to explosions.ai demos sense to vec and I am just typing Barack Obama, B-A-R-A-C-K Obama and searching for it. So as soon as you search, you will see that there is Barack Obama with double R, George W. Dot Bush, George W. Bush, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, then you have President Obama, Obama, Bill Clinton, etc. All these things. So you cannot directly use the output from uh, Sense2Vec directly. So we are going to filter these things using the techniques that I just mentioned. Let's see everything in code. So this is our problem statement where we have question and answer and we want to generate distractors that is wrong answer choices. First install Sense2Vec. I've already done this and uh, whatever we have seen here we'll see we have seen in ui here the same thing we'll see in code here so first install sense to vec then uh, download uh, the sense to vec vectors i am using the 2015 vectors then once you download extract these things unzip and extract as well as uh, put them into this folder called as S2V. Let's run these things right here, right now. So as you can see here, we are getting our um, vectors, Reddit vectors for sense to vec Now we have downloaded and extracted the vectors into this folder called as S2V underscore old. Now let's just import sense to vec and then load the vectors from disk. Once we are done with that, we are ready to use our sense to vec algorithm to get, to get uh, similar vectors. So I'm giving my original query word that is Barack Obama and uh, I'm just calling the most similar function from sense to vec and getting the top 20 similar vectors. As you can see, these are the top 20 similar vectors. Now let's just extract this, these words and just filter them. So here we have finally extracted the distractors. You can see that there is Barack with double R, then George W. Bush and all these things as you have seen previously, President Obama, Obama, etc. Now that we have our original word, which is Barack Obama, and our distractors. Let's go ahead and see how we can use sentence transformers and filter them. First install sentence transformers. Once, once sentence transformers is installed, let's download this model, all mini LM L2 L V2. You can go to sbird.net and you can see what are the different available sentence transformers but this one works well and I've created a very simple function here where you can pass in an answer as well as potential distractors that is the original answer and distractors and we will just get embeddings for both that's what we are doing here and what we are doing here is we are actually adding our original answer to the distractors at the very front, I will let you know why we are doing this. But apart from what we have here, distractors, I am adding the original word Barack Obama right here. And now I am getting embeddings for my answer as well as all the distractors. That's what I got here from this function. Now you can go ahead and read maximum marginal relevance algorithm MMR. Uh, thanks to Martin who has provided an easy to use function that we are going to use from Keybert library to use the MMR algorithm. 
so to simply explain mmr considers similar considers the similarity of keywords or key phrases with the document document here means the original answer along with the similarity of already selected keywords and key phrases this results in a selection of keywords that maximize their within diversity with respect to the document so simply put here we have instead of document we are referring to our answer and from the list that is already there when we compare it with our original answer we try to pick the most diverse one as we are incrementally adding the words to the list and how many words do we want is given here uh, diversity here means how close we want to be to our uh, original word or far away from it you can control the diversity you can look into the mmr algorithm you will be able to understand this but uh, it's um, very simple to use for us where we take this function directly and pass the relevant things and we get back the maximum diverse uh, filtered distractors you can see below now why we added our original keyword to the list is simply because when mmr algorithm is initialized right here it is initialized with one word that is closest to the document or in our case one word that is closest to the answer and then rest of the words are chosen to be as diverse from it as possible so instead of initializing with some random close word why don't we initialize with the actual answer itself that's why when we add our original word itself that is the one with the highest arc similarity cosine similarity so that will be the initial starting point and you can go through this uh, mmr algorithm but in the end what happens is that sequentially distractors are added such that they are far away from each other also when compared to the original answer that's exactly what's happening here but uh, let's just call this mmr function where we have already created answer embeddings and distractor embeddings right here you can see that answer embeddings and distractor embeddings are created and what we passed in was just original answer and distractor so we are going to pass these three things to the mmr function as simple as that and we are going to ask it to give five words and all i'm doing here is printing the words that we got from the mmr algorithm that's about it now what happens is that since the first word since we initialized with the answer itself even whatever is written from mmr algorithm you know that the first word is actually the answer in the list and the rest of the words are the efficient distractors so what you can see here is you can use barack obama as the correct answer and you can use any of these other presidents or potential presidential candidates as the distractors or wrong answer choices what's the power here is that we gave our initial list that is this barack obama with double r george w bush george w bush with dot and you have george bush and you have president obama obama quite a lot of similar looking distractors that needs to be merged but because we used our mmr algorithm from the same list we are able to identify and get the most diverse distractors that's what we got here i hope this is useful and this is almost the state of the art technique apart from you know using gpt3 to generate distractors maybe the deployment costs might be slightly higher because you need to have sentence transformers and word to back etc but apart from this as a framework this works pretty well and thanks for watching